Show good? I'm ready. Okay, folks. We're ready to begin. And the way we begin is as follows. Adequate notice of the January 23rd, 2014 meeting has been provided. In accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, by posting written notice and the agenda of the meeting on the bulletin board in the municipal building, 1000 Route 10, Township of Hanover, and by hand delivering, mailing, and or faxing such notice and agenda to the following newspapers. Hanover County's uh, Daily Record, Star Ledger, Hanover Eagle, and by filing same with the Township Clerk. Have a roll call. On roll call. Committee Man Gallagher. Here. Committee Man Faramoska. Here. Committee Man Bruno. Here. Committee Man Capola. Here. And Mayor Francioli. Here. Five members in attendance, sir. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise, those that can, and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Uh, yeah, where did I pick that from? There you go. Son of a gun. All right. I'm going to the planning board agenda, guys. All right. You guys don't want to take any applications, do you? Uh, all right. At this time, a uh, motion to open to the public for any items not appearing on the agenda. So moved. Thank you. Motion. To, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open. If anyone would like to address the township committee at this time, they can do so from the podium, giving us your name and address for the record. <laughs> Hi, I'm Regan Russell, 23 Salem Drive North, and I just wanted to ask for a little bit more detail on what's happening with the speeding issue, in particular on our street, as well as sort of the surrounding areas. Uh, the update on that, uh, as you know, or, or might know, you know, you ask your question, so you don't, uh, but let me tell you, uh, the Township Committee uh, has um, uh, initiated a subcommittee and uh, committeeman, our new committeeman, uh, Thomas Gallagher, is heading up that subcommittee uh, in conjunction with that uh, committeeman, George Coppola, who is also our director of public safety, is on that committee. And I've been informed uh, that our traffic safety officer is part of that same committee uh, in conjunction with our chief of police. And I think members of our school board have been uh, called upon to, uh, to also participate. Uh, it's the intention of that subcommittee uh, to uh, validate or not validate what is perceived to be issues of traffic in the area and safety for the children, uh, with children being dropped off and picked up, uh, not only on school property, but using Salem Drive and streets leaving the area. Uh, we don't have, I know that committee has just begun its work, as recent as I think about a week ago, and um, I don't know if there is uh, much activity uh, other than organizing at this point, but I'm going to turn to uh, Committeeman Gallagher and ask if he wants to update us on, on, on uh, any uh, activities of that committee at this juncture. You know, you, you hit on most of the points. Uh, and we, we did start our subcommittee this past Tuesday evening at 630. As the mayor said, we have some we have some key players at the table that are going to be working with us, including Brian Cahill from the K through eight school board. And uh, we assembled a small group, and uh, we have a rep from the high school, public safety co uh, committeeman George Coppola, and we're going to be discussing the, the concerns around the schools. And as a school board member for five years, we discussed the traffic quite a bit in the schools. We plan on work, working closely with our residents with our organized sports. The schools and the superintendent of the high school already got in touch with us with a very good suggestion. Our purpose of this committee is fact finding. We want to learn as much as we can about all of these areas. We will be listening to the residents and the experts. We want to look at every possible solution to make these areas at and around our schools and fields as safe as we can. Hard as we can to create safe zones around all our schools and the neighborhoods around our schools. We also want to create a central database, and this is the one thing that I wanted to just touch on tonight, is as committeemen, as Board of Ed members, as coaches, as people involved in scouts, we all get emails and phone calls, and 
a lot of people give very good suggestions, a lot of people give constructive criticism, and a lot of people are just angry. Well, what we'd like to do from the get-go, and I spoke to the mayor about it today, is create a central database where it will all go to one place. Everybody's constructive criticism, suggestions, even a complaint that you just think, you know what, I've got to talk to somebody about this. It'll, it'll get to us. And we will deliver it right away to the township committee. And our role is simply going to be fact-finding and working with experts to, honest to God, make every zone as safe as we can for our families. And we will be making recommendations to the township committee. And I, I, I appreciate the, uh, the opportunity because we've all talked quite a bit. And our group's only been together really for three days. And we've actually learned quite a bit and had quite a few conversations. So that's the update on where we are. And it's, thank you. It's, it's, and, you know, like I said, I mean, it, you know, and I both have kids at the same school. Mm -hmm. And um, as, you know, sort of to let all of you know, I'm happy to work with you to help, you know, with any leaders on the side information, but in particular in our area and on our streets. This has been, as, as Joan knows, an ongoing issue. Um, a lot of people on our street were really frustrated when we finally, after years of trying, got seat tables, or seat tables rather, approved, and then found that they were tables um, during this process. Uh, I think the concern, if I were to sort of do a snapshot of the concern of our street right now, is that everything, now that the seat tables have been tabled, that the whole thing will sort of die. And we know that there's an issue on our street. We know we have some conflicting opinions as to what needs to be done, how many things need to be done. Um, I think that the overall concern is that something needs to be done before we end up having to do something because something happened. We want to solve the problem before we're solving it because someone has been hurt or killed. Um, and I know that that has happened in other areas, and I don't want to see that happen in our town. So. Um, to the best of our ability as residents on that street, we have a first-hand account of the issue um, and when it happens and how it happens and even who it happens with to some extent. So whatever you need from us for help or support, we are definitely happy to do that. Thank you. I, I think that uh, uh, it's the... Uh, Formation of this subcommittee is, is really the, the, pr the proper way to go about it, and again, the fact-finding aspect of it is critical at this time. We've had other areas of the township where we've had uh, issues that were unique but not unique to what you're doing. We've had cut-throughs. We've got, uh, you know, uh, traffic that uses American Way that comes down through Mangor and McNay up to reach Route 10 so that it can make, get Ridgedale Avenue and get out to Route 10 quickly. We've got other uh, people that use shortcuts <coughs> down country woods for different reasons. You know, various aspects of town, they all have different reasons for what happens, but what happens in the general is unsafe. It's speed, etc. Uh, in the case of some areas of our community, we did some successful things with, with the speed tables and speed mats. They're not all speed bumps. Um, they're meant to, uh, some, gently remind you that the speed limit is 25 miles an hour, the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. Uh, they're working, and um, I think um, uh, I spoke to uh, Committeeman Gallagher, and I think uh, most of the people that we've been in contact to who are objecting uh, to it, we've asked them to at least drive those streets, um, experience what those speed tables are like. Um, it's not this clanking uh, sound every time a vehicle goes over them, but the point there is uh, it is effective. Uh, speed on McNabb has been cut drastically. Uh, we just recently <coughs> completed some work on Country Woods. Uh, and we're watching that to see what the results are going to be there. Uh, it may be that speed tables are not appropriate once your committees and once your input sessions are done and once our traffic control officers give us a recommendation. But trust me, nothing happens, nothing's going to happen uh, with tables, without tables, with enforcement, et cetera, unless until we get full input from your committee. So uh, I'm sure that Tom will keep it on a fast track. So will George. George, go ahead. Yeah, I would like to just add a couple of points. I think one, uh, the meeting we had Tuesday was very, very, very good. A lot was, a lot was accomplished. We identified ourselves as chairman, being Tom, Brian Kale being the vice chairman. I got stuck doing the secretarial work. Um, we had police chief Gallagher there. We had the former deputy chief uh, Stephen Bocar. We had Sergeant Mike Locke there. 
we had our um, regional school board of ed member uh, Jim Herbert. Now what we've identified throughout this process, we did identify a lot of issues of which the following meeting we're going to start assigning them out to folks. Although an evaluation has already been made by the police with their check and speed limits. We agreed that education is very important for the parents, for the um, driving age students, because it involves the high school too, and sports parents, because everybody's using these streets to go up and down to these different events. We identified areas as pickup being the biggest problem, because that causes the most congestion. Because when you're dropping off, you leave people and you go. Right? It's not like when you're, you're trying to pick up someone. Also, we're looking at curtailing the speed limit. We're looking at new red LED lights, different kinds of issues. But we're also going to get mixed emotions from different people, too, within that area. <coughs> who doesn't want a lot of signs by the house? Who don't, who's not too crazy about the speed bumps? So we're going to take a look at everything. Well, All right? <coughs> but just so you know, we, we've, we've got a good group. We're going to present everything, all of our findings to the com committee before we do anything. But you've got all the key folks with public safety, the schools, and all involved. So I feel very good about it that we made a good step forward with all of the folks that were involved to move in this thing in a very positive way. I do too. I feel confident. And the speed bumps are not off the table. That's good. Because I do think they would be a, an effective part of a comprehensive, long-term solution. I mean, I know that that having a police force there at all times is, is not reasonable or affordable for the town. So I get that. They have other things to do. So I do think that speed tables are part of an effective solution. That's my opinion, based on even other areas. Um, but I know that we have to look at traffic as a town-wide issue. Because traffic has increased so much, even on Whitney Road and the surrounding areas, because of industry, our parents are now forced, in some ways, they feel rushed to drop off and get out because it's taking them longer to get where they need to go to, to, to work. So I'm glad that, I'm glad our street is still a focus, but I'm also glad that our town is a focus because I really think about the safety of all the children around, and, and I want I moved here so that my kids could ride bikes around town. And right now I feel like that's, it's not safe. It is not safe to cross the street sometimes. So I want, I want that feeling of security back, as well as many of the parents that I've spoken to. You know, I've been on the PTA board at our school. I'm, I have relationships with many, many parents. I know this is how a lot of people feel. So. Mayor, thank you. Okay. Mayor, can I conclude? Sure. I spoke to a couple of the guys today, and our head crossing guard is a very good friend of many of ours, and we agreed that largely we're very, very safe. We live in a very safe, comfortable town. But we have a great opportunity here as a committee and with our subcommittee to look at this now with, our, with the people we have at the table and the way we, we're all going to work together. Looking at it as almost a blank canvas, we really want to create a safe zone and be a model to surrounding towns. So with One Day, One School, a program that I'm involved in, we always say we shoot for the moon. And if we ran, land at 60%, we're in really good shape. So we are absolutely going to work hard on this. And, and you do have a seat at the table, because I talked to Committee Man Coppola today, and we do want to get together with the residents at one point. Our, our subcommittee is only three days old, but as the mayor said, we're going to move pretty fast. But we do want to get together, and we do want to have all the information. And then we will immediately share it with the Township Committee. And we will work very hard on this to do the best we can. I appreciate that. I mean, I'd like to say one last thing, which is I think that given the town you're in, you're actually given a gift because I have never lived anywhere where parents were more passionate, more involved, and more proud of the town that they live in, the schools that their children attend, the, the influence and the participation of the PTAs, beautifying our schools and really looking at that as an important thing. And being there hands on and putting their own blood, sweat, and tears into that, you have a real <coughs> great community to work with who wants to help you find the best solution to make our town the best it can be and to make it a model for the towns around us. So you have all the building blocks to really make this a successful mission. <coughs> Thank you. Is there any other uh, individuals in the public like to speak at this time? <coughs>
Good evening, Addy Colon with uh, JCPNL Area Manager, and this is one of my towns. I just wanted to say hello to some of the council members that I have not met. Mayor, we met already. Um, I want to formally invite all of you. JCPNL continues to have an open house tour once a month. We do send out an email. Um, invite council members, police, whoever you want. Um, we do run it once a month. Today we had one at 1.30, and there are times that we may run an evening tour. Um, so open invitation to all of you. I, I don't have anything else unless any of you have any questions for me. Yeah. I've just got one question, and um, the question, it goes back to streetlight repair. We have an ongoing issue. The streetlights are not being repaired. Some lights are out for two, two years now. They've been reported several times. What else do we do about it? Um, there is a process. Uh, Joe, Giorgio, and myself have been working on that. Uh, there is, there's a couple things that we need from you. There's a phone number. There's also faxing information. I can send, resend the procedure. The best thing is to gather the phone number from the streetlight, location. We actually have a second and third shift that works work on those streetlight orders. We have a three-day goal to repair you. Um, so if we don't, if they're not reported, we're not aware of it, we can't fix it. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like there's a breakdown in the process because we had a, a, a young uh, individual in the neighborhood who took on the responsibility of doing exactly that. Mm -hmm. uh, after I personally reported some of these and I documented it and I gave them the numbers, I took cell phone pictures of it, okay. sent in, nothing's happened in two years. So I, two, two years, not three wow. days. I'm talking two years. My recommendation, um, Joe Giorgio has my information. If you have that issue, send it to me directly. Will do. I do work with the field. Um, my, my office is actually in Booton. Yeah, what I'd like to do is get, get it specifically Once as to what we need and have numbers. it published on our website so okay. neighbors in our township who are suffering from streetlights that are out for a prolonged period of time, they can be repaired because it's we quite frankly unacceptable. Absolutely, and we want those repaired. I mean, that's our, our priority is to get those repaired to make sure that it, it's number one is safety, not only for the town, Absolutely. but for everyone. So definitely, I'm more than you know willing to work with you on that. Um, my response time is pretty quick. I do my best I can, but the best thing is get it to me, and I will get it to the group that creates those orders. I will even speak to the line foreman, and they do work with me very closely. We, we look forward to a successful resolution because right now there's some significant gaps in the process. That's significant. That's no problem. Give me the information, I'll get it to Addy. Yeah, Great. I've called in three on uh, Manger myself uh, and uh, one on Slope. Uh, they're still out. So. Yeah, I, I There's think a breakdown somewhere. We're going to take you up on your offer and hold I your hand to it. the fire. So uh, if you'd give the administrator some contact information, well, I know we'd appreciate it. So Absolutely. Very good. All right. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Sure. Very good. Uh, anyone else in the public like to be heard at this time? Motion to close. Motion to close. So Second. Moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. <coughs> administrator? Okay, thank you, Mayor. Um, the Community Development Block Grant Program requires a public hearing on, on any application that is submitted uh, from a municipality, whether it be the municipality itself or another group located within the municipality. And in this regard, we have the Flight Officer Robert C. Gulick Post 5351 of the VFW, VFW has submitted an application to the Community Development Block Grant Program in the amount of $80,000 to repave the post parking lot at 750 Route 10 in Whippany. So, in keeping with the regulations, um, may we have a motion to convene the public hearing? So moved. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Is there anyone wishing to be heard concerning this application <clears throat> that has been submitted to the County Community Development Block Grant Program? <clears throat> Okay. Motion, to close. motion to close. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And uh, now uh, to uh, give approval to the mayor to sign the application on roll call, Mr. Gallagher? Aye. Mr. Faramosca? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Coppola? Uh, as an active member of the VFW, I have to recuse myself. Okay, we have uh, 
Mr. Coppola is abstaining, and Mr. Franciola. Aye. So approved. Approved. And signed. And signed. That it? That's it, man. Just no further... Uh, that's it. Just one page. That's it. That's it. Okay, Good. we have the approval of the Township Committee Reorganization Meeting Minutes of January 1st and the regular Township Committee Meeting of January the 9th. So moved. We have a motion by Mr. Second. Faramosca, seconded by Mr. Bruno, and roll call Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramosca. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. Mr. Capola. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Now, members of the Township Committee, there is one communication that was not listed and it is as follows. It's a letter. Dear Mr. Giorgio, as you may be aware, I began employment with the Township's Public Works Department on October 4th, 1982. I have decided to retire from the service of the Township with 31 years of service. My retirement will be effective March 1st, 2014. Please advise the Township Committee of my decision. Very truly yours, Patrick Dooney. Okay, motion to motion accept. To accept. I, uh, a motion by Mr. Second. Turner, a second yes. by Mr. Coppola. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pat uh, has served us uh, quite well. I've been a very dedicated employee and uh, known Pat for all 31 years that he's served us. He, he will be missed, and I, we wish him the best in his retirement and the best in his health for him and his family. Okay. Uh, members of the Township <clears throat> Committee, we have the following department reports which are on file in the administrator's office and available for public inspection. They include the report of uh, all projects and activities conducted by the township's human resource specialist during the month of December. The construction official has submitted his report on all construction permits and certificates of occupancy issued during the month of, month of December 2013. The township's chief municipal finance officer has submitted his report on the summary of all budget revenues collected during calendar year 2014. Township engineer has submitted his report of all activities conducted by the engineering department uh, for the month of December 2013 through the 22nd of January 2014. And finally, uh, the property maintenance officer has submitted her report on uh, all of her activities during the month of December 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, the next portion of business is the um, resolutions as a consent agenda. We do not have any ordinances for introduction this evening. We do have resolutions A through E, plus one additional resolution that was discussed uh, in conference work session, and that is a resolution appointing Thomas Hublitzel as a regular meeting, uh, as a regular member to the Township's Economic Development Advisory Committee, and that is uh, a nomination recommended by Committee Man from Moscow. Are there any questions on resolutions A through E plus the additional resolution? Gentlemen, motion to accept. Motion to Second. accept. And on roll call, Mr. Gallagher? Aye. Mr. Faramoska? Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. Mr. Capola. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Raffle applications as a consent agenda. Any questions about the raffle applications? Okay, hearing none, then may we have a motion for approval? So moved. So moved by Mr. Bruno, seconded by Mr. Uh, Capola. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramoska. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Coppola? All except raffle number 2717. Okay, you'll abstain on raffle application 2717 because you're a member of the BFW. And Mr. Francioli? Aye. So approved <coughs> with one abstention. And Mr. Chairman, members of the Township Committee, that clears the agenda of the Business Administrator Township Clerk, and I thank you. Thank you, Joe. Very good. Okay. At this juncture, gentlemen, is there any other comment from the Township Committee? Mm -hmm. We're not done yet, George. No <laughs> awards being given out. A few things from me, if I may, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just want to commend our DPW, their entire staff, and Brian Ferran, who was the head of DPW, for a job well done so far this winter. We've had an inordinate amount of snow and ice, and I know that um, we do hear many comments from residents as they leave town and travel through other towns um, about how well the um, 
roads in Hanover have been cleared and how timely it's been done. So I want to do, commend our DPW on that. And then um, in terms of recreation, our winter programs are well into their um, second month. Um, but just a couple things, even though it's 10 below zero, start thinking about the summer, the 50th anniversary of Bee Meadow Pool. Uh, those who haven't gotten their applications uh, in in prior years, we want to encourage you to join. We've got a lot of new, new things going on in the pool this summer, and those applications will be going out shortly. Um, and then the fireworks, we do expect to have uh, July 2nd. Once again, we're just trying to think of some things that happen in the warm weather as it's 20 below zero outside. Um, so that's a date to keep in mind. And that's it for me. Very good. Yes, uh, Mayor, I have a couple of reports. Uh, number one, Economic Development Advisory Committee. Uh, pleased to announce that has identified an agency to work with, and the task of that agency will be to help with the branding of Hanover Township to communicate to all those that this is a great place to live, to work and to play. EDAC has been vital in terms of trying to attract desirable rateables to Hanover Township, and we fully support this endeavor, uh, which will continue to promote quality rateables within Hanover Township. From a planning standpoint, also pleased to report um, a very, very well thought through plan developed to eliminate what one who's lived here for a few years would refer to as the old slaughterhouse property on Jefferson Road. Um, Bob Bruno can talk about uh, goats and sheep running down Jefferson Road. I don't go back that far. But uh, in serious, this uh, area was in significant need of uh, redevelopment. It needs cleanup. Um, there will be 16 single family homes built there. Single family homes, I repeat, originally came in at 38 condominiums, uh, townhouses, and it will be in a condo form of ownership. So that means the Homeowners will be enjoying uh, their, their homes and all the property, everything outside will be maintained for them. Um, so this was built uh, working very closely, the design, with the surrounding property owners, and I give, I give uh, credit to the planning board for being uh, taskmasters with that to ensure taking into advantage of the property owners living nearby. Third point is um, Hanover Sewage Authority, which you often don't hear a whole lot from the Township Committee. It is a separate entity, but it's a real jewel within Hanover Township because it's a vital component of our economic vitality because of the fact that we do have the capability with water and sewage and waste removal to handle um, additional commercial entities within our township. This HSA, uh, for the second year in a row, has performed with a perfect safety record. Um, so compliments to HSA on their work. That concludes my report, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much, John. Very good. Tom, George, yeah. George? Yeah, uh, first of all, the VFW is uh, surely coming up in a couple of months with their uh, annual poppy drive. Uh, monies that they're attempting to raise to help the wounded veterans and those who are in need, us, are in need of their help the most. Uh, we also have this evening the Landmark Commission. Uh, they're here tonight to share their enthusiasm for upcoming projects to, towards ident identifying key landmarks within the township. So um, shortly after this meeting, I look forward to their meeting with the committee. The committee's been uh, su super enough to let them allow us to listen to what they have to offer us. So. Thanks, George. Um, just a very <coughs> brief comment before I uh, open once again to the public, and that is that... Uh, oh, Tom, Mr. Gallagher, it, just one quick one. Uh, the uh, Substance Awareness Council has booked two Hanover Youth Nights for the spring, and they will be at the Florham Park Roller Rink. That's the latest company and family and friend to come into Hanover Youth Nights. And also, last Tuesday night, the Substance Awareness Council <coughs> voted to purchase a water volleyball set for the Bee Meadow Pool, because we're always trying to come up with different activities for the 6th to 8th grade and the high school. So we have a water volleyball set that'll go, it's going to be 30 feet with the cords, it'll be 40. So we're going to have water volleyball with a DJ at the B-Metal Pool, sponsored by Substance Awareness. We have many more activities to announce as we move forward, but uh, we're moving in the right direction okay. with that council also. Sounds good. This Sounds is real good. Very good. I was, I was very pleased to hear last week, too, uh, on a report that Bob gave that, uh, or was it reorganization day, that... Uh, 
Malapartis Pond is open for skating again. And that, uh, we can thank the uh, Polar Vortex for that <laughs> once again this week. But yes, Spe Speaking of the Polar the Vortex, on. Uh, on a serious note, uh, the weather is severely cold and has been severely bad, icy conditions, etc. And by the way, I thank everyone who's out here tonight showing an interest in this meeting. Uh, if you have neighbors who are shut-ins or people that you know are in need of assistance, please look in on them. Uh, we do have, through our Office of Emergency Management here in Hanover Township, uh, warming centers when we're prepared for this cold weather. Our recreation center during the day is one of those centers. And if there's a family that is in dire need uh, in this bad weather, uh, we're prepared to uh, provide accommodations for them as well. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but again, uh, be neighborly. If there's someone on the block that you know needs assistance, uh, I know I shoveled out two of mine. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, go the extra distance, make sure they're okay. If they're not, you can let us know and we'll take it from there. But uh, just be very, very careful of this extremely cold weather, at least for the next week or so. Uh, any other comment from the committee? None. Okay. Uh, motion to close that portion. So motion move. to reopen to the public so for any items. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open. Uh, if you'd like to once again address the Township Committee, you could do so from the podium. Again, giving us your name and address for the record. Seeing none, here, oh, I'm sorry. No, you had your four minutes, thank you. Uh, Regan Russell, 23 Salem Drive North. I figured while I'm here and you brought up the pool, um, I know I've heard from people that the membership has fluctuated recently. I just wanna make a suggestion that maybe looking at the look of the pool and upgrading the chairs and tables. I know I've heard from numerous parents that it's, it's kind of dated and some of them aren't as comfortable. And I think you compete a lot now with Lifetime Fitness. I don't know if any of you have been there. But to join Lifetime Fitness for three months and enjoy their really short of spectacular outdoor facilities, mm -hmm. you're, you're losing a lot of people to them. Um, it's about the same price as it is for our pool membership here. So I'm just putting that out there. I don't know if it's something that can be considered mm -hmm. or is in the budget. But you might want to try sending someone look at that. It's mm -hmm. much more comfortable. It's... Um, just a much more updated, updated facility. Bob, interesting. Yeah, the um, it's in Florham Park. <clears throat> we do budget for new tables and chairs every year. Um, in fact, we had a meeting this morning to talk about the pool. There are some repairs that are going to be done, but more importantly, we are uh, looking to put a diving board back in. We haven't had any diving boards in probably ten years because of insurance reasons, et cetera, but we did find a way to get the diving board back and we're also planning to put in a basketball court, uh, four square courts, um, and some other games and activities. It's really the tables and chairs. They're dated, a lot of the umbrellas don't work. They're they're not as comfortable to lay on. You're just losing a lot of I mean, quite honestly as a mom, you go there and you want to chill. I mean you've got lifeguards, it's great, you want to be comfortable. And so if you can for the same price go and there are cushions like this and gorgeous snack bar and huge water slides for the same price. Mm -hmm. I just I know a lot of people that stopped joining the pool and started joining Lost Fitness. Mm -hmm. So I'm just putting it out there as that okay. maybe where you're seeing some of your pool revenue go. So. Appreciate the feedback, thank you. Anyone else in the public like to be heard at this time? Seeing none. Two, motion to close. Three, four. Motion to close. Seconded? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to close. Motion for adjourn. So moved. Move Second. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Committee is adjourned. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're coming. Oh, thanks, Very good. good. Thanks for coming out. Thank you very much. I got lots more for the side, so. Oh, inside? Inside. <laughs>